What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Ninja Kimwe. I know I'm a little late on this, so I am going to be editing episodes two and three together. Super excited to continue Hegan's very dark but very vengeful story. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions, check out the Patreon link down below. We're also live on Twitch watching all these reactions with so twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And don't forget to check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Secrets of our ninja arts must never leave this clan. Under no circumstances will they be shared with outsiders. Now we got a clan full of ninjas. That was a quick change up. Now we're sharing our ninja arts with outsiders. Because we're under a greater power. I like the way this is animated right now. That's probably what our main character did as it cuts over to him. I assume this is a nightmare of his dead son and wife. As he has the guy with the jewel in his head wrapped up. Maybe he's torturing him. I thought he killed him. Maybe he's just trying to physically get as much info off his body as he can. That's his fat cat. I'm glad his fat cat made it. Ooh, that. Guy's got 3D glasses like he's from the movie. So he's the doctor. We always have to have a doctor, buddy. In a situation like this secret art of stark awareness i was wondering what that was interesting i want to know more about the ninja arts how he turned into the fucking shadow with his ninpo you know whatever he did get stabbed through his heart in the back five or six days is crazy for the amount of damage you took you know <laughs> i want to know more about this doctor i like his voice actor i feel like i recognize him as well used to use the secret art of spatial awareness or whatever it was called the card the FBI agent left him. Mike Morris. Now he's going to do some interrogations on our boy. Oh, that's a form of interrogating, I guess. Just completely opens his innards. From the night to the day, just, I don't know how this man still has blood. It's literally been days. Just pure days of stabbing. At this point, he doesn't even want info. He's just getting vengeance for his, his wife and son. He's going to light my man on fire after being stabbed a hundred times. Of the Oni that lie beyond. You will be fearful of these demons now burning to death is one of the worst ways to go out but hey for this guy full permission green light you can hear his skin sizzling boiling popping off he's already been coerced Mike is a very, uh, sometimes when your job and your career's on the line, you know, okay, he's just appearing obedient on the surface. This is, that seems like it's bigger than them. They are the FBI. Yeah, so they would realize that. This is like the sixth or seventh body they found just this month. 
gotta stick with the cycle come on harley davidson i want to know more about the ninja arts the clan i'm definitely going to rewatch it at the, whatever they said at the beginning during editing he's barging in on what he assumes could be their base on a couple different occasions but not finding anything so far our search for answers has brought up nothing so seem to be some uh, corrupt cops oh yeah asshole corrupt cops see his form of jurisdiction lies with with uh the ninja so people things like the law cops none of that matters to him whatsoever he didn't even make direct contact was that purely from the power of a shockwave or was that some more ninjutsu kind of shit i mean where bah bah that's gonna be my boy hegan Get your head in the game, Emma. Don't start tracking us or some shit. Come on. That's it. That's all he wanted to let you know. He knew you were going to try some tracking shit. He got multiple burner phones. That's what that bag was. He literally has multiple burner phones. Long how bow. Instantly hangs up, instantly snaps it. You're not going to be able to trace him. Auza. Not the first time. They just mentioned Auza, so. And I saw him in the opening, so I wonder if this technological company is going to play a part in the story. And OST for the show is insanely good. Damn, I have drones doing deliveries right now. They are very advanced. I mean, with his disguising system and everything like that, it makes sense. This is not his first time meeting someone suspicious. A give and take relationship. If you think that's going to be enough to stop my man, then yeah, come on. Those delivery guys are so out of it. Instead of Uber Eats, it's Auza Eats. That's really how it, it, it is when they go to the restaurant, so. Oh, there's no orders. This man's here for ulterior motives. Cool. I love how he used the table as a shield. Cut them all. He got, like, whip sickles. I've never seen sickles extended with rope like that. Gotta whip out the katana. You're a, a little in over your head right now, Mike. Oh. What is my man, General Grievous? See, I love that when he turns into the darkness. And he, what the fuck? able to grow six shadow arms four shadow arms and a shadow head two shadow heads he's really at a disadvantage trying to protect mike right now this is going insane i love how the clashes are sometimes on beat i really enjoy that gotta use some alcohol with the fire Oh my god. 
Decapitated and impaled the head on the other. Oh my god. That was a banger fight. So that's the little thing that causes the disguise. Oh, it's not over yet. Of course they have an RPG. Bro, what the hell? This show goes from zero to a hundred so fast. Pecking duck. I've always wanted to try pecking duck. That I, that fight was honestly insane. I low-key think that fight was better than the fights in the first episode. <laughs> they got to have some insanely well, you know, good smiths. That is great timing. I was just definitely involved in this somehow. It would make sense why their technological enhancements, even for the ninjas, are ahead, you know? Ooh, okay, this is getting a little in-depth. This is the ninja headquarters. They're looking for the exiled or the defectors. That was like a five minute episode. I think they messed up with the timing because there's no way that was the whole episode. All right, here we go. Starting off with blood on a statue. They got to get some important figure out of there. Is Brooke here? The humming swordsman? Oh no, it's an actual demon. Yep. With the kind of ninja arts that we've been seeing, I don't know why that surprises me. That's a cool shot on the bro on the broken window. I thought it was Hegan doing this. Who in the What the hell? This looks like a ninja kind of headquarters. This looks like the same weirdo we just saw. Maybe he's a part of the plan. This guy seems to get sexual fulfillment. Yamaji. How do you keep calling him a piece of ass? This dude really gets a hard on from killing. Yeah, that's the part I'm curious about. How did he live through that backstabbing through the heart? Okay. Give me more info about the arts. Also, oh, not even they know. Okay. What the hell is wrong with this guy? This is, this is the guy from the opening. Bro, what is going on? I wonder if the guy with the mask is the Reaper. This guy's also in exile. Who taught you to wield that blade? There's a lot of deep lore and, and world building going on in the last 10 minutes, and I'm just. A wind blade flying swallow i like the words he said like very poetic it is impossible to defend against a wind blade but zaya looks like he did it he dodged it did he throw it oh wow 
So maybe the student has gotten uh, a lot stronger. And just like that? So now I gotta see this weird sexual guy fight. I gotta see Zai fight. Maybe Zai is the Reaper. Now, now we're back to Mike Morris. Still covering stuff up. Mike is stepping into an area he really doesn't understand. So I'm, I like what he's doing and I like his balls, but he, like a little crazy, my man. Don't come into work again as your ex-partner, now bigwig. Interesting. My man Higgins is making his own little homemade forge? What is he making? Talking about the steak that night. Just thinking about all that shit, man. It's horribly sad. You gotta throw up again. Understandable. The one weakness a man like Hegan has, you already destroyed it. <clears throat> one of the lines I live by in my life is there's nothing more uh, fearful than a man with nothing to lose. <laughs> That's Hegan to a T right now. Yeah. That's the folder he gave him. Request for a leave of absence. Damn. We'll see about that one. Don't like I said, I respect Mike. He's just a little crazy, but I respect it. Now he's definitely crazy for that one. I love fishing. Temporary truth. Respect it. Sketchy weirdo like you. Facts, but. What is it? Oh. Some power raid. <laughs> Man's got a flask full of <laughs> monster. Gotta stay awake, you know? Is it Emma? It does make sense that she would be the plug for Alza. She was the one who had the VR glasses last episode, you know? The old Volkswagen, the old bug. Man was, you know, fixing his motorcycle. Man knows a thing or two about motor vehicles. This is a teched out bug. What the hell? Oh, this it's like a mystery machine. This is the. This is crazy. Not expecting this. Pretty much the tech business of the world. Software面でも現行のシステムにとって変わりつつあります。営業学を yeah corporate murder corporate assassination that's the guy we saw the sex man interesting that's the guy we see in the all the posters and the videos of alza you want to see how in over your head you are? And we got Mr. Yamaji here. Yeah, 
よほどの要件かなうちのチームの人間だよ開発中の武器の実践データがどうしても必要だったんでね身体能力に優れた忍者は試験相手にはうってつけなんだ Those were owls, the guys who blew up the restaurant last episode 元忍者を選ばせてもらったよ二度とこんな真似はするな I wonder why Yamadi is mad. Because of the exposure to ninjas? Because. Damn, that place looks insane. The detection levels on this man is insane. Who is over here stabbing through the car? Is it the sex guy? It can't be Zai. Oh my god, the x ray detection. My man is so insane. I wonder if that's a pure accident or if this car, everything's all set up in this situation. I wouldn't trust anything. Yeah, that's an accident, accident. On her fucking sick ass car, too. This guy's got a sword hand with the claws, like we're in Elden Ring. With the Gatling shooter. Another episode, another firefight. Right, got to use some sort of shadowy technique. The six arms like he did last time. I think last time he did four arms. I love the creative choreography you can have with the amount of insane ninja arts that we don't even know anything about. Animation's going sick with this music popping off right now. The double-bladed sword. This guy's like Mechamaru the ninja. Ooh, great dodge. Ooh, double, triple great dodge. I don't even know if this guy is actually human or if he's purely a robot. He might actually be a robot. There's a camera of someone watching everything that's going on. No, it's got to be a human. Yeah, he just fucking killed him. This is sex, man. You're next, buddy. Whoever's watching from the other end of this camera. Sucks, because I really liked working with Emma and Mike, but we got to leave him right now. Temporarily back on our own. One of our burners is ringing. I don't know how that's the case, so how would they get our number? Oh, that's where it ends? Okay. There's a cliffhanger and a crazy fight and some crazy developments every episode. I'm fucking with this so far. So between the developments of Auza and their involvement to... I'm definitely gonna have to go back and re-read re certain parts, especially when it, I thought the guy Zai was fighting was the Reaper. Maybe Zai is the Reaper, but he murked that dude so seamlessly, and they were talking about how exiles are a danger to prevent the exposure of ninjas and their ninja arts getting out. They have to kill every single one of them, but there are multiple exiles out there, and he's uh, the guy with the mask who Zai killed said that they're if they notice everything that's going on they're going to stand up as an uprising against you guys who especially they said Higan's one of the best ninjas throughout japanese history this is getting so in depth they don't even know the the, the secrets behind his secret art like i need to know and it seems as if people have innate techniques that are to them like the guy who zai killed was like wind slashing wind blades i need to know more about that aspect of the world building about the secret techniques and ninja arts because is it just Hegan who has the shadowy kind of stuff? Or do more ninjas have that? Is it more of a lineage passed down kind of thing? Is it because in, in Naruto, you could develop ninja arts and stuff like that. But you can and you can write it on a scroll and teach those techniques to others. I wonder if Hegan's the same or if it's more of a genetic kind of thing, like how techniques are in other shows, stuff like that. I need to know more about that world building. The fights, the music has been fantastic. I'm really enjoying Mike as like our side character temporary alliance kind of guy but he is so in over his head this is gonna get crazy need to know more about yumaji need to know more about the weird sex guy need to know more about zai the head blonde guy at alza 
there's a lot of stuff that's still developing that i'm curious how this is going to go i just don't know if this is going to be a 12 episode or a 24 episode season i assume 12 because the pacing is just so extremely fast and there's been a crazy fight every episode i don't think anyone would have the budget to do that for a 24 episode season but i'm thoroughly enjoying this hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section like i said check out that patreon for the full uncut versions don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them you never know when ninjas might come after them have a great day dapper squad peace out